little engine that could. What's up you guys, welcome to the channel. Johnny Miller's in the house. What do we got Johnny Miller? Something new, you guys, skill. Remember skill? There's two different kinds of skill. There's skill saw and there's skill, right? They were bought out by a company called Chevron, right? They make ego, so they pretty much ego eyes these tools. Um, back in the day, skill owned by Bosch. Uh, you know, they had the Palm XO drivers and stuff like that, and then you could, you know, Christmas Day gifts, you'd always be getting a little skill driver. I just still have them. They were not bad tools. But basically, you guys, they still want to be that homeowner brand. They're not, like, trying to get to the, you know, a contractor or anything. But actually, after using these tools, a contractor could totally use these tools. These are only 12-volt batteries. Yes. 12-volt system, which I was surprised. Yes. Two amp hour, 12 volt uh, battery platform, you guys. What is that gonna do for us? It's gonna keep it compact. It's also gonna give us, if let's say, what's the biggest thing you do when you're, okay, you're a homeowner, Throw in a couple right? screws. Right. Paint and some pictures, whatever. Right, and every time you usually need one, the batteries are dead, right? Because they've been sitting in the drawer for a year. Yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously, that doesn't happen too much with lithium, but let's say it is dead. Well, within how many minutes can I? This has a jump charge on it, on the charger, which means uh, this two amp hour battery, it'll get you a 25, if it's completely dead, it'll give you a 25% charge in five minutes. In five minutes. So 25% is obviously gonna get your screws driven yeah. in or whatever, and then the rest, how long is the total charge time? Then the last 70, I don't know what the time is on the last okay. 75%, but then it goes to normal charging mode. All right. But I mean, still pretty cool. And another cool feature about it, you guys, is on the batteries, yeah. every battery has a USB output. So you're able to... That's very neat because a lot of the other people, you've got to buy the adapter so you can charge your electronics when you're gone. Yeah. This one, you can just grab the battery and go. I like that. That's tough. Yeah. It is actually really cool. Or if you're on a job site and, you know, because it phone dies. Yeah. On a job site. I mean, that's how you're making calls. That's how you're talking to people. That's how you got your radio. You can't have that. So you can plug directly in. So three tools that we've got Actually, now. Actually, you can on the charger, too. Oh, yeah. It's pretty sweet. So the three tools that they have out now, you guys, and again, these are relatively new. They're not in the stores yet. They're coming. They should be here. Check. Keep checking Amazon because that's where you're going to see them first. Maybe Lowe's. This is the drill driver. Compact, two speeds, and it's going to be able to drill and also drive. It does have a plastic chuck, so, I mean, obviously, it's not a metal chuck. You find that in um, the contractor grades mostly. Right. So what do you think of it? Brushless motors. Brushless motors? I, I think brush motors are the day of the past now. If we've gotten down to the homeowner versions that they've all got brushless, I can't imagine any more brush motors. Yeah, and brushless is going to give you longer run time, better power. More power. More power. Longer tool life. Why? Because you don't have to, um, there's, there's no mechanical friction in there. Really? Yeah. Um, the chuck, you guys, it's not a ratcheting style. It's just you go till it's tight. We haven't had a problem with it, but generally I like to hear it ratchet or I click. Do it's I, just, I just feel like safer. Um, but it, it's been holding it, not a problem. Uh, 17 place cut clutch settings on it. Works really good. Um, was that in the full setting there, we were able to drive, you know, to take this one inch auger bit, and it actually took it through a four by four. I didn't think it was going to do it. If we were going to bet, I just said it wouldn't. How did it work? It, it worked really well. I mean, I had to put my second hand on it or else it would twist it out. I mean, yeah. It's, it's I mean, it, would, it, would, it would definitely damage your arm. It's got some careful. surprising torque. It's a homeowner platform and yet one inch auger bit, no problem. Yeah. Which is kind of cool because that's going to take you to the extremes, you guys, right? Most of the thing, like you said, picture hanging, delicate stuff yep. with your clutch. You know, you don't want to strip screws. All that's going to be good. But when you do need that just little bit of power, it's going to give it to you. Granted, you're not going to probably build a house with it. You're going to need something bigger. But it gets the job done. Also, with its little sister here is the... Uh, the impact. impact, yeah. I don't, do you know any of the stats yet? No, I do not. Okay, we don't know any of the stats yet. You guys, this is just the first look. We're gonna go through it all. We're just going off of impressions. We went outside, we used this stuff, and this is the impressions that we got out of it. Um, I like the impact. It's just cool, it's compact. It reminds me of like a, a DeWalt DCF 610. 
couple really nice things about this, the light. Yeah, the LED light on the front is really awesome because it looks like it's one continuous ring. I mean, we've seen that before, but this one is just, it's crazy looking. Because sometimes you can see the individual LEDs. <laughs> it actually reminds me of the Ingersoll rings. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, impact uh, drivers, when they first came out, these impact drivers came out, they had originally no speeds. It was one speed only, it was too fast, and you had to feather it with the trigger. These new ones have three speeds. This one has two, and which is high and low. High and low, but with the other three, I understood. You know, low speed was for small wood screws, delicate screws. Speed two is for deck screws, and speed three is for lag bolts. But this is basically this way. took a lag through on speed two, right? Yes, yeah, so you need speed two for the lag bolt, and uh, the high speed on this. It drove the leg bolt. Right, it's gonna get most of your stuff around the house done for John. Uh, lastly, and you guys, this is just the beginning of this lineup. Oh, it drove um, screws like crazy. Yeah, it drove screws like crazy. So if you're gonna be, you could build a deck with this for sure. Yeah, I think you could. You definitely could build a deck with that tool. And the drill, uh, I don't know. Would you have to drill for big lags? You might have to drill bigger holes in the one inch. You yeah. could probably do it, but it's gonna be a lot of work um, for that little drill to get through those big holes. I mean, like I said, we did it with a one inch, but I mean, for constant daily use, I mean, it's probably not designed for that. You're definitely gonna get an upper end. It did it. Tool. It'll be your occasional thing, but you're not gonna wanna do that all the time. Right, right. It's like using like a Toyota Tacoma to pull a, you know, 15,000 pound trailer, right? That's what you need a super duty. There you go. Right? But everything has their point, price points, whatever. Um, you guys, this is their multi-tool. Um, nothing really spectacular to go about the multi-tool. Well, what they did right, though, is the blade change. That's, yeah, they did was... the blade change really right because there's no pins to come out or anything like that. You're just going to open it up, and this will slide right out. You can put your new bit in, close it up, and you're locked in. Also has, like, that half-moon LED on the front, which is really good. Um, vibration's about normal with any other oscillating tool. I, I wasn't, like, blown away by the non-vibration of it or the uh, comfort of it. How about you? Um, it's... There's your light. It is brushless motor again. It's pretty standard. Yeah, they for the homeowner. I mean, it seems rugged. It does have rubber overmold. I mean, personally, I think I like it better than the Milwaukee. Like the design ergonomics and yes, stuff of it. I do too. But, I mean, you know. All these oscillating tools work. They all work well. And it comes down to the blades you're using a lot of the times, whether they cut well or not. Um, but what I do like is being a homeowner model, they put that quick release on. And I bet you that pin comes out because it's going to have to. Yeah, that pin does come out. So that's actually cool. So it stays captured when you're doing the quick changes with these kinds of blades. But yeah, if you need a full circle blade, you're going to be able to pull that pin out. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. That yeah, is like probably... That. That's wow. The, that's those things ingenious. can be a pain in the butt if you have to stop and take an Allen wrench out or find your Allen wrench, take the bottom off. And... Uh, yeah, DeWalt's used these blades too, you guys. It's kind of like the DeWalt blade. Yeah, as I say, those are the DeWalt blades. I think the Bosch has them now too. The Bosch are half circles. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh no, not. But it won't take a star lock without an adapter, I don't think. I'm not sure. Um, but pretty cool. Like John said, you know, it's just easy. It's for the homeowners because you guys, this is designed for the homeowner. For the homeowner, I'm um, very impressed. Yeah, it's definitely some good stuff. Price point. Stats, all that stuff are just coming out, you guys. It's kind of new. We just got these. These are like samples, so they might change a little bit. I guess we're assuming this is homeowner. You know, till we skill? see. Yeah, till yeah, we see. Yeah, skill price saw price. is the pro. Yes. Because they were, they, if they were going to take this pro, they would take the skill saw. Okay. Which would be kind of like weird because you'd be like, hey man, what kind of drill you got? Skill saw drill. Yeah. Skill drill. Right? Yep. Skill drill. Hey, that'd be cool. Skill drill. Right? Sure. But that's what they're trying to do, you guys. There is a market for both of these. They've definitely ramped up. The new skill is definitely ramped up. It's definitely, uh, you know, on track with Royobi. Maybe Rigid. Um, definitely Cobalt it's taken out. Yeah. I mean, that's who's in their targets. Yeah. You so know? But again, it's only 12 volt, right? So it really, it doesn't really compare with the uh, Royobi because Royobi's all 18 volt. Yeah, that's true. You know, so this is more compact. This is a little smaller. And I mean, this does look like, I mean, something you'd see you from the You know, the, the nice wall. thing is that not everybody needs an 18 volt drill for everything they do. I have a bunch of 12 volts and I grab them a lot just because they're lighter, easier. Right. And that's the thing, you guys. And I mean, I know you guys, tool guys, are sitting out there to have your, you know, major brands or whatever. Great. This is going to be for the guy you're going to get for, you know, grandpa, you know, mom, someone who really just, who, who, somebody just out of college just needs a starter set. No way, dude. What do you mean? 
This is like next one up from a starter set. Well, I mean, it, it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just saying, if, if my grandpa, I mean, I don't even. My grandpa's not around, but if if a grandpa got this, he'd be like, oh my god, check this out. This is like hot, like you know, a hot item. It's comfortable. It's it's easy to hold. He's gonna run it and be like, oh my god, look at the power on this thing. They're definitely good. You know, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I don't like the kid out of college. They're gonna, you know, millennials. Yeah, uh, they'll get me started. <laughs> they're gonna get, you know, um, I don't know what they're gonna get. But they were just get. No, I would think they this would be right in their wheelhouse. <laughs> huh? This would be right in their wheelhouse. Maybe. I don't know. I see it. Okay, I'm with you, dude. I see that it's a starter entry level set. The homeowner set. It's not but a, I think it's, it's you know, a it's designed tool. for a mid level homeowner set. I don't know if that's even a set. Yeah. But, you know. I got that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I can't think straight because now that I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think back. <laughs> Maybe we're trying to put this in a category that they have, they don't have yet. You right. Know, you got a homeowner. And actually, they don't. There's there kind is of no really, there. like, really good 12 volt, you know? You have Black no. & Decker, they have their 20 volt stuff, which is compact enough. It's probably close to the size of this drill. I probably have one somewhere. Um, but you know what? Stay there. Can I move? No. I don't have much 12 volt, man. I've got a few, and I use the heck out of them. I don't have much 12 volt. Okay, so here's the DeWalt 12 volt, right? It's about pretty close to DeWalt's a little longer, but even the DeWalt has a plastic chuck. With this DeWalt and that one, I'd probably take this one. You know what? I, I think I would agree with you. Uh -huh. I mean, even though I'm a huge DeWalt fan, but do you know why? Because DeWalt doesn't really invest too much into their 12 volt line anymore. They haven't updated that line. Yeah, there's not even uh, battery uh, fuel status gauges for the exactly. packs. So actually, I would. So I mean, think about it. They're very So you just told me that a homeowner brand, that an entry level homeowner brand, it's, so you go to the store and this is sitting there and this is sitting there and you're a contractor and you're telling me that you just said you were going to pick that one. You just said contractor. I didn't say contractor. Well, you know what but. I'm saying. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree with you. This is just a better looking item and it actually performed. Will it outperform this? I don't know. It's not Over a fair long statement long, to take them out know. right now and do because I don't have, uh, this is aged and beat up. You'd have to take it apart and see what it's made out of. The plastic parts versus metal parts, what have you, but. Yeah. You know. I don't know. I mean, honestly, is it, who's the, is the Menuna Makita 12 volts, the little black ones? Is that 12 volt? No, they make 18 volts black also. Okay, because those are really small too. Yeah, those so are I wouldn't compete ones. with those. Yeah, it's in its own. What do you guys think? Comment below, what do you guys think of skill? I want you to erase your memories. Everything you've heard about skill in the past, everything you've seen about skill in the past, and you guys, I know what you're saying. Even I know, you, that's Those that's, little Ixo drivers, the POM, or whatever they call them, skill Ixo. You always got them around Christmas at the depot. Dude, those things were awesome. I still have a couple, and they were great little entry level screwdrivers they were the first lithiums really to hit the market i have to say though my impressions of skill go way back probably 15 18 years ago and it wasn't good i hated it jigsaw biggest piece of junk hated it well, that was super I, entry level that's what i'm saying there's now i have to get over that impression that initial impressions of these i mean this has blown me away compared to what i thought i was going to see when we, we took these out of the box and started playing around with them Right. I didn't expect them to play that well. I did not. No, I didn't either. I mean, I didn't either. When they said they're sending it, I'm like, okay, whatever. But it's actually really good stuff, you guys. We want you guys to comment below. What do you guys think? I mean, remember Rockwell? Was it Rockwell that came out with some of that 12-volt stuff? And it didn't really stay around and it went? I mean, this is Spank set. This is, honestly, this is on par with a, except probably except for Milwaukee. Milwaukee's 12-volts. Definitely dominant. Drill. Yes. Yeah. The, Milwaukee's dominating this. Um, but, I mean, even... As a contractor, I'm seeing looking into this now. It's just longevity. Will it last? I guess it depends on what contracting work you're doing. Yeah. You know, installing garage doors or something like that, yeah. Right. And like you, like we said, you guys, the brand is being re-energized. It's now backed by the people who make Ego. What do we say about the Ego all the time? I mean, even you came today and you want one of my Ego blowers, which you're not getting. <laughs> I have the original. Getting. I have the first Ego mower, and it's still running. Yeah. I love it. Eagle's just built to last. It's good stuff. It's great for the consumer. It's good quality, you know? Um, and, you know, they're this is the same company behind the scenes, and they're injecting their, you know, uh, skills of building stuff that lasts. And, I mean, I don't know. 
You know, we should take one of these batteries apart. But what I know to, to the Ego, you guys, we actually went out to China and saw how they built the battery packs. And it's like they took the extra step. And I mean, it might have been an extra minute per battery or something like that. Or it might cost an extra couple bucks to put. But they injected everywhere that moisture could get in or that a connection could be broken. They would inject like this uh, epoxy stuff. So it's all water tight. tight. It's all sealed. Everything's beautiful. So I wouldn't be... You don't think that's going on in there? No, I doubt it. You want to bet? All right, we're opening one up. Pause. We took it apart, and what do you see? Look it. It's potted. That right there is potted. I stand corrected. You stand corrected. So that's good stuff, right? Yeah. So I mean, that's even better. That's yeah. even better. But you guys, just that little bit of extra stuff that they put on there means longevity for this pack, you know? Because I mean, something that would be exposed to the elements, you know, or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this has a little bit of waterproofness to it. I you mean, leave it outside and forget about it. Water resistance, I would say. Look at that. Easy to put back together. You guys, we do not recommend taking batteries apart ever. It's not the greatest idea. Warranty's voided. We yeah, we voided it. our warranty. And uh, plus, John Miller, um, you're insured. Yeah. Yeah. You're insured more that if you do get zapped, we get more money. Bring it in. Then worth. I know. It it's pretty sweet. So we're excited about that. John Miller, wrap it up. What do we think? Impressed. Um, exceeds expectations. That's a catchphrase that goes around where I'm at. But it definitely does. It is much better than I thought it was going to be. It would be a, something, a gift that I could buy somebody and I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel bad about it. I think no. it would be a great gift. Yeah, it'd be exciting and, uh, you know, it's just a cool tool, you guys. What do you guys think? We've been all over the map on this one. It's just two dudes in a garage talking tools. First time we've opened this up, we went outside, we used it. That's what you got. If you want, yeah. you know, other stuff, you know where to go. Hashtag TA Crew wherever you go, you guys click like. Don't forget to click subscribe and ring that bell down there because every time that John Miller puts out one of his exciting videos, you're gonna get notified and you don't want to miss it. You want to be one of the first people to get it. Heck yeah! Peace out. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.